Gorgeous. Look at Love all those it. cities. Can you, here's a question. Ooh. Do you how, which one of you can remember the the cities off the off the top of your head? Mexico, Chicago, Seattle. Nice. No. Kevin got three. Well done. <laughs> I could never do it. So I'm just curious. I kind of in was, the documentary because it flashes all. so quick. Well, yeah, in the in the documentary, we highlight a lot of different cities, but you'll see a lot from Mexico, you'll see a lot from California, some from Madison Square Garden shows, some good stuff in there. Of course, in most importantly, in Miami. Awesome. It was really a magical moment. I think probably my favorite or top five. Completely. And if you're also like us, you've been using Zoom a lot lately for work or to just catch up with family and friends. It turns out it's uh, particularly effective for organizing happiness continues watch parties too. So, if you're planning a Zoom party with your friends, text us your meeting ID and password, and we might just hop on tomorrow at like 5 p.m. Pacific, standard time. Our phone number is on the screen now. It's 323-880-0945. 323-880-0945. It might look familiar to some of you if you were able to come see us on this tour, and uh, you get to see it all over again. Yeah. Just, again, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, just the world for getting this, this crazy time, and just to know from us uh, that we love you, we're here for you, we support you, and we're to really glad to be here. This uh, live with you today. So let's get some of those questions. Let's, let's do it. it. Uh, okay, well, did you have question. any pre-show rituals before a show? Joe? Pre-show pre-show rituals yeah we've got a couple I I you see it all in this documentary but uh, some push-ups yeah. uh, I usually have someone slap me in the face uh, that was Sophie quite a quite a few times on tour and uh, blast loud music usually it's Queen um, there's a lot I think after DNC I just carried into the Jonas Brothers because DNC backstage we were doing some wild things so naturally we needed that energy for our show so I kind of forgot the cameras were rolling so you'll see a lot of that here's another great. question it's a great scene what songs did you guys enjoy performing most on tour tough one I had a couple favorites uh, I would say um, comeback had a standing in the video package that we put together with the actually the director of this film that's coming out tonight uh, Andrew Mandler, I think, really did a good job of spotlighting kind of Kevin, your journey and your story and how it connected to uh, the song and um, what that meant for all of us. And then, you know, obviously Sing and Supper uh, was a blast. And then to watch uh, Only Human as the tour you know, began and as we got into the late months of the tour start to grow and become more familiar to people, um, you know, we saw that, that change and, and that happening in real time. Um, and so yeah, those are probably some of my favorites, along with the, the classics, you know, when we would throw in um, Take a Breath in the acoustic section from time to time, or uh, Love that. Love Bug, Always a Home. Uh, Here's Kevin, one for me, all right, how home, yes. How's homeschooling going for you? Ooh, homeschooling, how's it going for me? Uh, it is going It's well. probably a little different when you're the teacher, Kevin, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was homeschooled for a time in my life, so I understand it. Being the teacher is a whole other thing. But Alina's a really good student. She wants to learn. She's really excited to learn. She's very good at math. I did not know that there's this whole new new math thing. You have to, like, relearn math completely. So, so you'll enjoy that. A good, uh, student, but the question is, are you a good teacher? I have uh, patience is a virtue that you and to gets tested. And that question, we need to go to the student <laughs> herself. Bring her in. Where is she? 
Where is she? She's Where's up, the student? Uh, she is upstairs. Uh, she's upstairs. She's upstairs. Okay. Um, but she would say yes. I hope. So. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Alina? Right. He's great. Um, all right. Next question. How do you guys feel after opening night of the HBT tour? Happiness begins tour. Well, I like that you said HBD. Yeah, HBT tour. Yeah, that's nice. Um, you know, yeah. I would. I think we were over the moon. We couldn't believe that it all worked <laughs> worked the way we hoped it would. A few yeah. technical things here and there, but overall, we felt like our dream was coming to life, and they really get to see this in this documentary because, again. For a lot of people that saw us on this tour, sh being able to show you what it was like preparing for this first show and getting back on stage with Kevin and Nick, uh, there's a lot of emotion that was attached to it. So um, the first night, I think we, we wanted to party, but we also were exhausted. <laughs> it's true. All right, here's another question. What, have, what has been your favorite memory since you guys got back together? Kevin, why don't you take this one? I think having my family see the show for the first time and being able to see us make music again. But I would have to go back to what Nick said earlier a little bit about that first night of the opening of this tour. was you know, in Miami and all the prep work and then actually doing it. And with all the technical movements of the show as big as we built it, that it didn't mess up and it actually worked and it was awesome so like it just was really cool plus the fact that we actually have this documentary to be able to showcase it and actually show that whole section um i think it's gonna be really cool for people to see Agreed. here's one uh, will you be Chicago releasing Chicago secret show footage uh and interviews sorry Ken, my, my... it's all right you like? no no you should answer Get it Okay. Let's that go. So special for us, and we'd love to be able to relive it. Um, you know what? Yes, I'm going to answer this right now. It's supposed to be a surprise for film, but um, that show in Chicago uh, after the the show, um, the Happiness Begins tour show, we went and played a small show at a club, and just about you know 150, 200 people crammed into Much the fun. space. Uh, and we played with the original band members, uh, Greg Grabowski, John Taylor, uh, Jack Wallace. And we played some of those old songs from, you know, It's About Time, and uh, even the self-titled album. It was just a really fun night uh, for all of us and fans. And what was really great is we, we got to use all that footage for this uh, documentary uh, concert film we're going to see tonight. Uh, that just gives a really nice contrast to some of the things you see uh, in the big uh, arena shows. So having, you know, the, the big... Uh, arena shows and then the, the small scale intimate vibe between the club and the fans, I think this really gives you that, that range, um, which is I think one of my favorite things about the film, and I'm so glad that we filmed that show to everyone that came out uh, and, you know, was singing those old songs with us that night. Thank you. Uh, you guys are the reason we do what we do. Sweet. Well said. What is the most embarrassing thing that happened to you during a Zoom call during social distancing? Joe? Uh, mm. I sometimes I've it's happened a few times. I keep forgetting that you have to turn off your your camera, so you're, if you're using the bathroom or something. So that that's happened to me once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> if you could describe the Happiness Begins era in one word, what would it be? Wow. Happiness. Happiness that's Begins it. era. Yeah, I think it would just be very, very family. It's like it, it's fitting, right? And I think that that's why we continued the uh, the continues with this doc. So it, I think it makes sense. Well done, guys. What do, we, what do we think? Uh, I would say family and fun, and uh, last, I would say uh, happiness too. Yeah. Great, great Love. To describe. There is a couple of questions in the Instagram, which were just on on Instagram Live, which are saying like, "Will we see anything that we did see in the shows?" Well, I think that's another thing they're wondering. A lot more than that, and I think that uh, there will be other things that you see here. 
that you haven't seen before or heard before. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, this has been a lot of fun. Well, it's, I like uh, this. I guess it's it all that. So fun. It has been fun. I like it. Nick, and by the way, great stonework. Fantastic. Thank you. Really yeah. well done. Thank you very much. Gorgeous. Uh, when we tested this, I felt jacket. I needed something. Thank you. It's very swishy for the microphone. Jacket. Fantastic sign. Uh, yeah. Plaid is on. Are you guys wearing shoes? Uh, I am wearing shoes, but I don't usually. Are you wearing I, shoes, Kevin? I wanted to dress up for you guys. You are? I'm wearing shoes. No pants. No shoes Ooh, here. Scandal. Nice. Tie-dye. Prove it, Kev. Yeah, right? No, I'm wearing pants. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have for now, everyone. Thank you so much. Make sure to watch Happiness Continues, the Jonas Brothers concert film. It will be out tonight at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Can't wait to see you guys in the Zoom watch parties tomorrow. See ya. All right, everyone. Thanks, we love guys. You. See you Thank soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.